I should probably find my mom. Yes, go, go. I'll be fine here. Make sure. Okay, well, let me know as soon as you find them, all right? Hey, guys. Uh, listen, Paul, I, uh, I have your discharge papers. Thank you. But there's something that you should know. EJ's alive and Susan took him? You know about Susan? I just saw her on the security footage. We know, and so does my mom. She just went after them. Okay, little Elvis. Mama needs to be extra quiet now. I'm gonna wheel you off right into the promised land. Oh, hey, I need your help. Susan isn't going to have an easy time getting EJ out through the morgue. The attendant is off duty this time of night, and the keys are only accessed on a need basis. Well, Susan can be pretty resourceful when she needs to be. I mean, look at how long she hid me away. Well, I alerted security, so if she's here at the hospital, we're going to find her and EJ. They are not getting out of here undetected. This is after hours, and this is a restricted area. And you have to leave. Um, Can you just turn around? What? what? Susan. How'd you know it was me? Well, the socks and sandals combo was a dead giveaway, but that accent just don't. You don't have to be so mean about it. I, I, you're gonna hurt me. No, not if you tell me why you were trying to take EJ away from me. Because you took him away from me first. Okay, no, that is not true. God, you be what? careful with him, please. I had to hear that he was alive from, from that Victor Carey office. This is of all people. So, okay, no, no, stop, stop. All right? I apologize. I'm sorry, Susan. I really am. But I didn't want to get your hopes up, and yeah. so I was sure that it was really EJ, okay? okay? you know what? You tricked me. That's why you tricked me into giving you your mother's style. Is that right? Because I wanted to be sure. Oh, my lady. That's not your decision to make. This is my little boy, my little Elvis, and if you had one little moment that you knew he was alive, then you should have told me. Okay. You're right. And I'm sorry. Right? I am sorry. Can we just put that behind us, Susan, and do what is best for EJ, please? Well, Seth Burns, administrator at University yeah. Hospital. Oh, oh. What did he want? What are you trying to make me crash for? He called to tell me that you can go right now. There's no cars here. my brother EJ is alive. He's alive? So then, and Sammy was right, the man that they brought back from Nashville really wants EJ. Yeah. I gotta go down there and see for myself. Yeah, of course. Come with me, I can use a company. Oh, I, I think I better steer clear of Sammy right now. Okay. Home, Billy. I promise you, I'll keep you safe. Okay. Aren't you tired of going through the motions? You tell me you don't want to help me, and I tell you you have no choice. I am so tired of it, but I am not framing Abigail. Do I need to remind you what will happen if you don't help me? Oh, believe me, you don't have to remind me. You have told me enough times that if I don't help you, then you're going to tell Chad that I betrayed him by giving Stefan confidential Titan information. Hmm? Right, yeah, and I'm assuming you don't want to lose Chad over this. Is this really how you want to play this? Because I'm not the only one who has something to lose here. If you expose me, I'll be more than happy to tell everyone about all of the lies you told about the baby and how you set Abigail up. And that will make you very toxic. No one will want to be near you. Yeah, you might be right. But not if I tell everybody it was your idea. 
I mean, who wouldn't believe that you wanted revenge on Abigail because she killed your husband? I'm very disappointed in you, Gabrielle. I'm just doing what I have to do.